Want to go around? What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't fall. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar, Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology that you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? 
For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh... They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child, 16 years old. They did terrible things to her, but somehow she managed to escape. Oh. Thank God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small, and she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, Kaz. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Gah! This damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, Kaz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Mm. 
Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. Wh what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission? Or your beliefs. I... I am loyal 
to oh, himself. Boss is alive in Costa Rica. Who's that? As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. <gasps> Snake, it's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Okay. For peace, then. <gasps> there they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. Percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noise. You're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Enemy attack! Yes, sir, we broke them. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. 
Can you hear me? Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? <sighs> the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opinol will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it, Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. SLN Boathouse. It's northwest of there. You can use 
use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. What's going on? Rise and shine. What's going on? Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Stay out of the water. That's beyond the scope of this operation. The boathouse should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the Commandante. What is it? Shots fired! Understood. Maintain heightened alert. Recovery helicopter is complete.
Hamilton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Shots fired! Good. Now meet with the FSLN Commandante. He's inside the boathouse. No way. What do we do? Sandinistas, right? I'm looking for someone. Mi viejo! Shh! He's dead. They killed nuestro viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax. I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Hmm. A cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. I owe you one. But I prefer cigarettes, you know. How do I look? A little like El Che, no? You Cubano? Mm, Colombiano. A photographer. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Birds? Yeah, uh, Quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's all in the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard they're a security force hired by Codessa. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's? La Cia. I saw them, setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew on the Rio del Jade? You mean the barge? It's upstream from here, up toward Yarasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there. I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compass, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it! All right! This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, El Monstruo attacked. A monster? Y mi viejo. Mi viejo, papá, tú es la esperanza, our hope. Now that papá's gone, my sister's la comandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papá was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves, neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? 
My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! <laughs> See what I mean? El Colibri! <laughs> They're tortured. Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual, it's overkill, which means one thing, it's nukes. So the question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thinking. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost, and make contact with Amanda, if she's still alive. Roger. Reinforcements coming. Take a look. I'm seeing things. Huh? Footsteps! They know someone's there. They'll be coming to check it out. What is it? What was that? Get up! <laughs> I'm seeing things. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Freeze. Uh. You won't have to worry about that one anymore. So long as none of his buddies show up anyway. Go ahead and use Fulton recovery to bring the target in. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete.
keep it here at the base. Amanda went across that rope bridge. Hurry. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. You can't hang down when you're crouching. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Careful now. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. You could transport the prisoner to Mother Base, if you had a balloon.
for this snake? You've got to neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself.
That shot at me, the leader. Can you take him down? Oh, yeah. Chico. Homestell. I treated him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia. Chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. A front. 
It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We use the income to buy food and weapons. Mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Everyone except Chico. Everything we have, our weapons, our compass, he brought it all together. We were going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa! I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us, too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Madre de Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... Oh, Chico... You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. Fine. It's a little bit out of my way, but... Just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison, up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain, end his humiliation. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please... At least let him keep his honor. That's a promise I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Snake? Could it be the great cacique has come to be us? Kaz, can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do you feel? 
Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about Effendi, just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Snake, we can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I know. Boss, one more thing. Now what? It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh-huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. Chico's in a prison camp north of here. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Free. That basin will leave you completely exposed. Careful if you don't want your head blown off. Somebody here? Nothing here. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter.
Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. Prisoners have been fitted with blue doors. Molten recovery to helicopter is complete. Check inside a house by pressing the action button in front of the door. <laughs> you. her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. 
Got any cigarettes? Hey, cigar, huh? Hey! Not for kids. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The King of Snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bada at least. He was walking on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel, but I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh... Well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? Huh. Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. They sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. He tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and... I tried to set it on fire. <laughs> Everyone treats me like a child. I, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Couldn't do it though, could you? Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. You told them where your compas are. I see. Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. <laughs> I wish I was dead. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Oh. Shoot, you are only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today, you understand? 
your hombre nuevo, a new man. Now, give that new life to me. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, Snake is fine. What's that? Snake, Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive. Because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Uh, not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Is that right? Okay, sure. If you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. Boss, I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. The train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. To get to the coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road.
helicopter is complete. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. There's a coffee factory to the northeast. Beyond that is a train terminal. If you had something to stand on, you could probably reach that. Wait. Can't be imagining things.
Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. What was that? Huh? I think I see someone. I'm seeing things. Enemies close by! Enemy sighted, quite fast. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements <laughs> now. Turn to base. Pass through the coffee factory to reach the train terminal. Huh. 
Enemies close by. Ah. Fulton recovery subject confirmed <laughs> on board helicopter. Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. Check out the cargo. Notes.
neutralize that tank unit. You can do it. Truck is headed up the mountain road past the tunnel. So it was nukes after all. What now? Their main base is up ahead. I better hurry after them then. But Kaz, if I don't get moving, it'll be too late. All right. I guess you never did let dangerous assignments or risk aversion get in your way. How do I get inside the mountain? I can forget about the tunnel. Yeah, the tank took care of that. Any other routes? Why don't I let a local expert take over? Snake, you need a way into the mountain? Yeah, got one. Mm, let's see. Uh, do you remember that precinct I was in? In the village, right? Right. Go back to the village and head north. There is a bridge that connects to the mountain road. It crosses over a gorge. That's probably the best way. But there is a little problem. The path heading north from the village is barricaded. You might have to break through. Got it. The heart of Irasu. That's where the enemy's base has got to be, Snake. And maybe... Now, let me guess. The Basilisk, oh. You don't believe me, do you? 
No, I mean, we'll have to see. Snake, Inazu features a number of crater lakes. The Odeberg government had planned to use those lakes to construct hydroelectric plants as one of its big state development projects. The project was scrapped, but there's still a small opening at the bottom of the lake. Meaning? I checked the satellite imagery, but didn't see anything man-made, which means they probably built a base inside the mountain. Could just be a storage igloo for explosives, or maybe some kind of research facility. What do they hope to accomplish by bringing the nukes there? First things first, get past that barricade north of the village. Looks like the only way through is the noisy way. You'll have to blow it up. Go back to the prison camp. It's in the village where they were holding Chico. Fulton recovery subject confirmed uh. on board helicopter. And Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Head 
west from there, and it'll take you straight to the prison camp. Across the prison camp, you'll find a gate leading north. Huh. Is somebody there? Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Hey, huh. Is somebody there? I know I saw something. <laughs> Start talking. <laughs> We're under attack! HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Target lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him.
Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. First equip your C4. You can't plan a charge unless it's equipped. <laughs> Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Barricade is located somewhere in that vicinity. To plan a C4 charge, hold down the aim button and press the attack button. Once the charge is planted, press the attack button without aiming to detonate it. Excellent. Now, make your way north. Snake, you there? Yeah, what's up? You've got to talk to Amanda. What happened? She wants to leave sickbay and get back on the battlefield, but she's not fully healed. She's still in crutches. Who'd be crazy enough to try and fight like that? You have to talk some sense into her. Is she with you right now? No, she's in sickbay. She keeps shouting about how she doesn't want to be there. She won't shut up about it. She's driving me- Let her go. What? If that's what she wants, let her go. I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Snake. I'm serious. Let her go. Why? So she can come back in a body bag? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Kaz. What are you talking about? Amanda isn't the type to just sit around in sickbay. She has a sense of duty. Her purpose in life is to fight. The battlefield isn't just the best thing for her. It's the best thing for her compass, too. She'll be a huge morale boost that can only benefit MSF. You think so? You're good at fighting, Kaz. One of the best. But you've got a lot to learn when it comes to people. So, where should I put her? I'll think it over and find a team for her. Don't worry. She won't let us down. Whatever you say, boss. 